what's up good people thanks for tuning in to 4722 dominique looking lovely on the budget um i am back with that video as promised that i told you guys i was going to do talking about um um whatever i would well no 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 no. let me start over because i'm talking too fast i'm thinking i got video with me today but i don't like i said i was going to start dropping her off at daycare and then come back home and do um videos so that's what i'm doing but anyway let's start this introduction over i am back to you guys to talk about um what i promised on yesterday when i was talking to a young lady about when you're in a relationship basically she said i love him even though i know he's no good for me so let's jump on up into that situation um sometimes we as women some of us not all of us we are often guided by our, our emotions and you can pretty much know a thing is is not for you or is that something you shouldn't be doing but you can't help yourself when your heart and your emotions are involved now um i can also say that sometimes we let our emotions uh dictate and guide us you got common sense you can see if this man is cheating on you if he's hitting you if he's making your self-esteem lower than it already has been instead of building you up then he's no good for you. And sometimes I've often hear, um, I've often heard, you know, or been around in conversations or even in myself back in my younger, younger days when, you know, you're kind of trying to see where things are, who you're supposed to be with, you're dating around or whatever the case may be. Um, you really like these people. You really like this guy. You like this dude. You like him a whole lot. But at the same time, you know, he, he, the only thing he offers is midnight situations, if you know what I'm saying. Um, he calls you after 9 o'clock. He don't never call you in the daytime. He always want to meet up with you um, when it's dark outside. He don't want to take you in public. Then he ain't no good for you. But sometimes we often fall for the bad boy syndromes. I'm one of them as far as back in the day. I like a bad boy. I didn't think it was nothing wrong with that. You don't want to be so bad so he just rotten and ruining and disgusting for you um, and ruining your health. When you have an anxiety attacks, you're on Xanax. He coming in and out your life when he want to. Coming in and out your back door, your front door, your patio door, your car door. Any doors open in your life, he jumping in and out of your life. You don't need that situation. You need to really pray and wait. And sometimes we as women have this syndrome where we feel as if we can't be alone i don't know what that is or you feel like your identity is being in a relationship and you can be alone and you can start over i didn't say it would be easy it would be hard but just because you got somebody that don't necessarily mean that it's the somebody for you sometimes we just want to just be known for the fact that we got somebody in our life we all played the fool before we all been jacked up we all been emotionally distraught where it's like you can't shake this guy loose you just got to have him he just, you're addicted to him. You know, we all got these things that we are addicted to that's no good for us. As long as you live, it's going to be something in your life that you need to be delivered from, that you need to be set free from. It's going to be something that you're working on to the day you draw your last breath, and that's the truth. But you can limit the pressure. You can make wise decisions and use your common sense. If this man is not helping you pay your bills, he ain't helping you take care of your kids or y'all kids together, it's always an excuse he always late. He always putting you in a bind in a situation where you got to borrow from Peter to pay Paul. Or you got to go borrow something from your grandma, your family, or your friends, or whatever the case. Because he didn't meet the need. Girl, he ain't no good for you. You love him, but he ain't no good for you. It's like, like I said, you're addicted to him. He is your drug of choice. And sometimes you just got to make up in your mind, I'm going to gather some strength. I'm not going to talk to this guy. I'm not going to answer the phone. I'm just going to walk away. It's It'll be hard because when they come back, they come back with these sweet nothings in your ear again. And that's just exactly what it is. Sweet nothings. Nothing at all. It don't benefit you none. It don't take care of you. He don't encourage you. He don't lift you up. He don't make you feel like you can go to the moon and rock in a rocking chair on the moon. He don't make you feel any of those things. So... I feel like this. If he can't build you and make you or help to make you into a better person and y'all are monsters with each other, you don't need to be together. What is it that you don't get? 
You done been stringing along with this dude for years, over and over, off and on, wasting time that you could have been with somebody else or God could have sent somebody else in your life who's going to appreciate the gift and the treasure that you are. Wake up. Look in the mirror. Look at yourself. Shake it off. Say, I am beautiful. I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. That's what God says about you. And if you can't shake this dude, you need to be straight up delivered from him spiritually. You need to get in your local church. You need to go sit there and learn what God says. Learn who God says that you are. God died for you. This man won't even go and pay the light bill so you can have lights with your children. That ain't even comparison to the things that God has done for you in your life. I mean, it's for you to be his own. So just wait. Wait until God sends you somebody. Um, Go out with some girlfriends. Bypass some time because, girl, you love him, but he ain't no good for you. He is not beneficial to your health. Matter of fact, you ain't even on his health plan. You ain't even on his insurance. And you got kids from this dude? Come on. And if you don't have kids from him, why you want kids from him? That's not going to change that. Babies don't change a person's behavior towards you. A baby is not going to make him love you more. It's going to make the situation more stressful for you. It's going to make the situation, excuse me, more harder for you. Because you're trying to do it now with the baby and you want the, the baby to bring y'all close or you're thinking about having a baby. None of that works. It's going to bring you more heartache in the future because you're going to create this life together that he's not going to be a part of. It's going to be in and out, dipping and dabbing. And you got to deal with him the rest of your life because now you're connected forever because you got this baby involved. So don't do that. Please don't do that if that's what you're thinking. I don't know who I'm talking to, but please know that you can't be free from him. You can love him, but love him from afar because he ain't no good for you, honey. You just need to let go, be free, and release this man out of your life and go on and wait for somebody to send you somebody else. Your identity is not hooked into um, the fact whether you're in a relationship or not. You know, sometimes as women, we feel like we, we want to be with someone. We want somebody to love us, and that's all the opportunity we got right now coming our way, or that's all we want. So you settle for these things. You settle for basically, like I heard uh, my former pastor say, you settle for breath and bridges. That's all you got is breath and bridges because he sure God ain't nothing else. He don't help you. He don't want to do nothing for you. This man ain't even getting your hair done. He don't care about nothing about you. The only thing he cares is when the sling go down and you're available. That's all. That's that's it. He can talk about you with his, his guy friends or his boys or whatever you want to call it. See, that's exactly what you got. You got a boy. You don't got a man. Because a man prioritizes. He puts you first. He's going to get your oil changed. He's going to get your tires rotated for you. He's going to pump gas in your car, making sure you don't have to do those small things. He's going to do all the man stuff that you want. I put a post on Facebook not long ago and I, because I overheard two guys talking, and I'll share it with you guys. They were saying, um, man, we don't know what women want. Just a regular conversation. I didn't say nothing because they wasn't talking to me. But they were saying they didn't know what women want. So I later posted in case one of them stumbled across my Facebook page. I can tell you exactly what women want. They want a man. I mean, basically, they want something or some things in their life that they don't have to do themselves. And a man who is willing. That's exactly what they want. They want somebody that's going to take care of them, that's going to nurture them, not only emotionally, but spiritually. We're friends. We laugh together. You make me feel good about myself. You make me feel like I can conquer the world. All we want is something we don't have to do for ourselves and a man who is willing. That's your answer. That's it. Don't come to the table bringing me something I can do myself. Shoot, I can pay my own bills. I can put gas in my own car. It's appreciated, but nurture me. You know, take care of me. And I know I just said you want somebody that's going to do these things for you. And you do. Granted, you do. And you should have, you shouldn't have to say anything. If he see your car on E, he should take initiative. Don't even tell you. Get the keys. Go fill your car up with gas. Go check your tire pressure. You know, do stuff that, you know, I appreciate. I don't have to get out with my kids and pump gas. My man did it for me. That's what you want. You don't want somebody to shoot you pumping his gas and giving him Money to pay his child support and for his kids and his old situations and bad habits. Giving him money to buy whatever he want to buy. Uh-uh. No, you got the wrong one. Y'all don't nurture this crap. And then they won't expect to come to your door with it. You teach people how to treat you. That's for real, for real.
So I just had to come on here and put it on blast and encourage you that you can do it by yourself until the appointed time. When the Lord opens that door and see you, that beautiful man, but as long as you got Jojo there or, or whoever he is, just figuratively speaking, ain't no no good one going to be able to come because you got the bad one parked in the, in the garage, like Steve Harvey said on bricks. You got to get rid of that junk so that the new ride, the new person in your life can come on through and be settled with you in that situation. So go ahead, don't be afraid to let go, free yourself, release yourself so it can make room for somebody better for your life. So I just wanted to come on here and put it on blast. Like I said, I would, I hope this encourage that young lady, um, encourage all young ladies, all women, because we, you don't have to have somebody in your life just to say you're with somebody. You can wait until that appointed time so you can have your self-esteem, have your dignity, have somebody in your kid's life that's worth being there. That is good role models for your kids. Taking you out to church on Sunday morning and setting that foundation, you know, for the family. So that's very important. So I just want to come on here and say that. I hope it encouraged somebody. And you guys will definitely see me in the next video. Matter of fact, I might make another one right after this one while I got a chance to do that. So peace and blessings to you guys. And you will see me in the next video. Take care. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.